Good morning, and thank you for going to work with Gina, which is an infomercial for STEM students. STEM students, this morning I want to talk about um, balancing relationships. And the reason I want to talk about balancing relationships is because um, it's different than balancing your routine. It's different than balancing your schedule. And the reason that it's different is because it has, um, it's twofold. It has, um, balancing relationships has emotions and it has dialogue. And so, um, so from that perspective, I want to talk about two of the most key um, important relationships that has emotions and has dialogue. And those are um, the relationships that you form or that you have with your parents and the relationships that you form with teachers. So, um, um, I have a 17 year old son who's about to go off to college next year. So I am, I have been making sure that I watch um, his relationships. I've been um, watching, I gave him an account, watching how he do things because I want to make sure as he moves out of my house that I maintain a relationship, but I actually see um, what, how he forms relationships and what he does to maintain his own relationships because now he's going to have to learn how not to just balance relationships that I know about but to balance new relationships as he builds new relationships. So, and this is so, this is very important to me. And then another thing from a perspective is um, the relationship that a student has with a teacher. I feel like that is a very um, key important relationship and what makes it um so important is because there's consequences to how you treat a teacher so let's say my eighth grader was telling me about some things that she was experiencing she's been taking marine biology and um the teacher there um has um left about three weeks ago and i think she probably got into class because she really liked the teacher so now her teacher has changed and she has this other teacher um, who doesn't quite go on um, different excursions and stuff as the other teacher, the marine biologist. So the other teacher was diving um, on weekends, having excursions, bringing back the action shots and pictures. Whereas this other teacher may not have the same, um, she, she's just not doing the same thing. So what I've told her is, um, but if you don't like the way she's handling the class, that's not up to you to say how she should actually handle her class. Um, she has the teaching certificate and not you. So she is an authority. She gets to direct her course. If you don't like it, um, it's ending. It's only um, a semester course. So if that course would be over for you. But why would you want to change the fact that you had an A in this class, a very high A, to the fact that you're acting out and now the teacher is putting more emphasis on you. She's spending more time with you. She's talking to you more, and that's causing issues, which now um, is going to cause your grade to suffer some consequences. So I told her you need to think about all of these things while you're making, um, building these relationships. Um, teachers, um, they build relationships with students in various different ways, also. So I want just, I just wanted you guys to know, students. Um, STEM students that building relationships and balancing relationships within those while you're building, while you're balancing relationships, you're building relationships. And you got to keep everything into perspective, okay? So I want to thank you for going to work with Gina this morning. If you missed any infomercials, please don't hesitate to go to uh, the YouTube channel. Um, going to work with Gina. Have a marvelous day.